No, it's a, I, I think we should talk about it because it, it is important. Oh, there's not much to talk about. It's a desert out there. I mean, it's a tumbleweed, not Hakuna Matata desert. Do you know what I mean? Not every relationship is going to end up being one. Oh, uh, I, I, I lost you there. Oh, that's interesting. Um, Do you feel like, like, I, I, like, like, I lost like, you there. Like, like, Can you hear me? You Hello? What? what does that make you oh. feel? What is going no. on? Because I'm also, is it going funny for you? Oh, maybe, maybe it's your internet. No. Have you been paying your Wi-Fi? No. Well, as you're saying, you tend to overanalyze certain aspects of your little life while you underanalyze romance. Are you okay? Yeah, um, sorry, can you repeat the question? It wasn't a question. You seem distracted, Tamara. I just feel a little, dis dis just feel a little disappointed. With love? Yeah, this town is filled with flakes everywhere. Well, I, yeah, now that wasn't the case a month ago with, uh, with, was it John? You said he wasn't a flake. Oh yeah, no, he wasn't. He was just a little intense. Yeah, he would just turn up on my doorstep with flowers. I mean, the first time was fine, but then he kept doing it. Who turns up with flowers? It's creepy. I see. And the famous Henry? Oh, Henry. I loved Henry. So? He was adorable, kind, sweet, handsome, smart. Sounds like a keeper to me. Oh, his feet stank. Every time I watched TV and he would be barefoot, make me want to barf. Ah, uh, you know there's a thing for that. It's called odor eaters. Tried it, didn't work. My memory of the smell was so strong that even with his feet clean, I couldn't shake off the stink in my mind. Well, but when was the last one? Last week, Marvin. He bought me dinner at Nobu and sent it to my place. <laughs> okay, so? But then he told me he snores. I can't have that. So you ended it. I can't be with a snorer. I have very sensitive hearing. Don't you think you're being just a little bit picky? I'm not picky. People just have things. And you don't have things? Are you perfect? What kind of question is that? Of course I'm not perfect, and I'm not looking for perfection either. What are you looking for? A man who is kind, sweet, loving, clever, tender, clean, sexy. Someone who gives me space, but who is there. Is it so hard? Someone who will shower me with tension, but who can not be there when I don't need him to. You know? I am seriously worried about you. You are switching from one man to the next, not looking for a mate, but searching for faults. How's that possible? I'm on everything. I'm putting myself out there. I'm on Raya. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Tinder. I'm on Christian Mingle. I'm on Farmers. I'm on everything. And most guys don't even reply. Tamara, I don't know how to say this, but have you ever considered that you're perhaps emotionally immature? What do you mean? What I say. Frankly, I'm a little tired of this patronizing. You shouldn't be judging me. You're my therapist. Your job is to ask me questions and my job is to answer them for myself. Well, frankly, Tamara, that's exactly what we're doing. You just don't like your answers. Bullshit! You're the worst therapist ever! I only kept you around because I felt sorry I might be your only client. <laughs> You're unbearable. Excuse me! Yo, 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 you. It's always about you and your life and your husband and your this and your that. I'm sorry, but this isn't working out. Well, you better go and find some man who can deal with your fussy, neurotic, bipolar, undecided, wavering, weak personality. You're fired! Well, I quit, you high-strung... Since there really is nobody that can even grasp what it is to be a therapist and the fact that I have all the answers and I'm going to win every fight, you know, and that, that makes people feel inferior. And so I have to date guys that are simpler and younger and sure have amazing bodies, but not much going on up here. And, and that's not my fault. I'm, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, 
kind of. Well, this was a very good session, Thomas. I'm pleased that you felt you could open up, and I'm very impressed by the progress you're making, thanks to me. And so, um, good work. Thanks. Uh, you, and you're happy with the sessions, because yeah, because we're covering new ground every time. Yeah. the hell needs therapy anyway? Finally. God. Who the hell needs therapy anyway? Who the hell needs therapy anyway? Who the hell needs therapy anyway?